For these questions, we're going to round each fraction to the nearest benchmark fraction. And a benchmark fraction is just a fraction that you can easily picture in your mind. We use 1 fourth, 1 half, and 3 fourths as the benchmark fractions. We also include 0 and 1. So let's do some examples to learn how we would round fractions. So for number 1, we have 8 twelfths. I have this number line here, and I'm going to imagine that I broke it into 12 pieces. So I know at the beginning I would have 0 twelfths, and at the end I would have 12 twelfths. Now I'm just going to make a little dot on the number line to show where half would be, about there. And the fourths would be half of the halves. So if we just look at this first half right in the middle would be the first fourth, and then the half of the back half would be the third fourth. So I just have these little dots to remind me where the benchmark fractions are. So here's zero, one fourth, one half, three fourths, and one. All of my benchmark fractions are represented here with a dot so I can see them. Now I want to put 8 twelfths on here. Well, I don't really know exactly where 8 twelfths is, but I know exactly half would be 6 twelfths because 6 is half of 12. So now I just need to put 8 twelfths where I think it might be. So if this is 6 twelfths and this is 12 twelfths, 8 is going to be somewhere around here. I'm just going to put it about where I think it would be and I think it would be about here. Once I've placed my fraction, then all I have to do is look at the dots where I originally put my benchmark fractions and see which one it's closest to. So 8 twelfths is closest to this one right here, which represents 3 fourths. So 8 twelfths would round to 3 fourths. So let's look at another one. Let's do number 2. On number 2, they're in sixths. So this number line is going to represent six parts. So here would be the middle, and then the fourths are right there. So at the beginning would be zero sixths, and at the end would be six sixths, and right in the middle would be three sixths. Now I'm going to use that knowledge to help me place two sixths. So two sixths looks like it would be about, if there's zero and there's three, then 2 would be about 1, 2, somewhere around right here. And now I just have to see which benchmark fraction that's closest to. Since it's closest to this dot I made, I know that dot represents 1 fourth, so 2 6 would be closest to 1 fourth. So let's look at another example. On number 3, we have 3 tenths. That means this number line is going to represent 10 parts. So I'm going to go ahead and put little dots for my benchmarks. I know that 0 tenths would be here, and 10 tenths would be here, and right in the middle would be 5 tenths. Now I'm going to take my problem, 3 tenths, and just put it on the number line where I think it would go. So if this is 0 and this is 5, 3 tenths would be somewhere around here. And once I put that on the number line, I can see that it's closest to the benchmark 1 fourth. So 3 tenths would round to 1 fourth. So let's do another one. On number 4, I have 1 eighth. So I have to imagine this number line now representing 8 parts. So right in the middle, and then the fourths are the middle of those. So this would represent 0 eighths and this would represent 8 eighths, and right in the middle is 4 eighths. So I'm going to put my fraction 1 eighth where I think it would go. I think 1 eighth would be right around here. So now I have to decide which is 1 eighth closest to. Well, it looks like it's pretty close to 0 eighths or 1 fourth. So we're going to go ahead and round up and say that 1 eighth is closest to 1 fourth. So you try some on your own, and if you need help, you can come back and rewatch the video. Good luck!